with a pro, eh, Steve? <laughs> Not my finest hour. That was not um, brilliant. It's not it, right, that, is it? <laughs> talking animals. It's weird, that. Well, yeah. I mean, what is all this about talking animals, anyway? Yeah. I see. <laughs> I'm a little dog in. He talks as well. <laughs> right, guys. It's very simple. Email in cbbc at bbc.co.uk. You can ask Steve Batchel absolutely anything you want. Come on, let's get some good questions from But right now, it's yeah. safe for School of Silence. Steve, Steve, Steve! Yes? Hello. Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where the noisiest children in the country are sent to prove they can keep quiet. <laughs> We're about to meet four new arrivals, but can they keep quiet for just one day? Oh, I doubt it. how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to prove they can be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If I think the pupils manage to stay quiet enough to pass a class, then they will bank a prize from my confiscation cupboard. But if I think they are being too noisy, They will get nothing, and I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 3000, the very latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass the final exam, they will take all the prizes they have banked and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. However, if they fail to keep that shut, I will have no choice but to expel them and they will go home with absolutely nothing. Today's Gobby lot are from Glasgow, and they're getting their last chance at being loud in front of Miss Gobstop and form tutor Mr Gross. This noisy bunch are seriously going to struggle. They'll need to keep it shut if they've got any chance of going home with a prize. You, step forward, name Kavita! I heard that. Kavita loves nothing better than a right good scream. I can see Miss Gobstop has got a work cut out here. You, step forward, name Harry! Tariq loves rocking out on his drums, but the loudest noise he's heard is his mum shouting, shouting at him to stop playing the drums. You, step forward, name Rico! Rico can burp the whole alphabet. But he also likes boxing, so watch out for a punch if you tell him to be quiet. You step forward! Name! Hamza! That's almost off the register. Apparently, Hamza's favourite noise is an elephant's trump. Yes, you heard correctly. Get them out! Get out! Get them out! Quickly! Quickly! It's time for classes to begin. The first lesson, general studies, with Mr. Uah, gross. This revolting teacher has the most disgusting tests tucked up his smelly sleeves. So what awaits our Glaswegian gang in their first silent test? Come in! That was my crab impression. What did you think? Rubbish. Shall I do another animal impression for you? No! No! no, no, no. no. Well, I am your general studies teacher, Mr. Gross. Remember, you are here because you are noisy. You like being noisy. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, yes. and it's got to be silenced out of you. Remember, Miss Gobstop is listening at all times on your fluffy little microphone. So, she knows if you're being noisy. Have a whiff of that. <laughs> oh, I do have an effect. OK, now listen. You've got to prove you can be son. Do you think you can do it? Yes! yes. 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 You've got to do it and prove you're oh. wrong. It's time for your first 
last silence test. Bring it on. Yes, we will. Shh. This first silent test is all about media studies. I will show you the face of a celebrity, and then we'll hear their bottom burp. All you have to do is tell me if the next celebrity is going to do a longer or a shorter trump. However, if you get it wrong, then you will be taking a whiff from my guff jar. Your silence test starts now. So, guessing trumps in silence. Bieber, do your worst. Mm. The class are struggling to control their laughs. So will the next bottom burp be longer or shorter? It's Katie Popping Perry. Will her pump be shorter or longer? It's Riku up first. He thinks the Perry Pop will be shorter than the Bieber Body Burp. Let's find out. <coughs> Rico's stifling a laugh, but did he get it right? It was longer. Rico's got it wrong. He has to face the jar of guffs. Surely a gasp and a cough there, but was it too loud for Miss Gobstop? They'll need to do better than that to bank a prize. So who's going to trump the Perry Pump? It's Daniel Raspberry Radcliffe. Shorter or longer? Hums is next, and he's going for shorter. What can Harry Potter magic up? <coughs> well, they're trying to keep quiet. He's got it wrong. We know what that means. Bring out the jar. There's some noisy gagging from Humza. Let's hope Miss Gobstop doesn't fail them for that. Next up is Kavita. So whose pump will trump the Potter Parp? It's Wayne Rotten Rooney. Shorter. She's going for shorter. Will she be the first to get it right? She's got it right and stayed silent. Well played, Kavita. So, after Rooney's ripped, who's next? It's Jesse Air Biscuit J. Last up is Tariq, and he's playing it long, but will he be right or wrong? Tariq has got it right, and the rest of the team also kept quiet during that gargantuan guff. Out! Standing. Your silence test is over! Yeah! Yeah! How do you think you did? Okay. We did good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did good. Were you quiet enough to pass the test? I don't know, but I tell you who does. Our illustrious headmistress, the mighty for Luna Gobstop, Miss Gobstop to you. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Much to my amazement, you really worked as a team. Humza and Rico, your gasps were as ghastly as the toxic jar. <coughs> but were your noises louder than the top pumps? Plus... Here come the results. Have the team banked their first prize? Past! Don't feel too proud of yourselves. There's some trickier tests to come in the School of Silence. And I have a feeling you're too naughty and noisy to pass those and you're going to end up going home with nothing. Get out of my class. Come on. Yeah! Good winners. Clear off. Yeah! Off you go. He passed. Oh, well disgusting. Yeah, the smell of that toxic. Oh, it was wow. disgusting. Wow. We're going to pass this next test 
and TGD. Teachers go with them! Attention, attention. This is the School of Silence. It is with much sadness that I must announce that the search for Tiddles, the school's pet cat, has been called off. <coughs> However, I am delighted to announce that Keith, the new school pet, will be a... Parrot. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Oh dear. Well, it's time for class two. Geography with Miss Adventure. She discovered the land of make-believe before coming to the School of Silence. But do our team believe they can bank a second prize? Come in, young roamers! Come in! <laughs> can, you, can you help me up? Help, help me up! <laughs> Take a seat, young Romers. I'm Miss Adventure, geography teacher. Welcome. You've been in Mr. Gross's class. Yeah. I think he likes you. Mr. Gross likes me. Yeah. What? 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 In a, in a, oh, oh, no, never mind. We're just friends. We're, now, I've got a silence test for you, and I think it's going to defeat you. It's going to defeat you. It's going to defeat you. Why it's you going to defeat you. Snakes on your table. That's Gary. They're not real. They're not real. Jason. They're plastic. And They're Kylie. Not real. They're over it. They're oh, not no, real. They aren't absolutely real. They're just sleeping. Anyway, you're going to pass my silence test? Yeah! Well, we'll see about that. Shh. The animal world is full of sworn enemies who must be kept apart. Today, for your silence test, I have the most fearsome animals who have a long-standing grudge against each other. Now, don't be frightened. Please welcome a bee and a bear. That's enough, boys. That's, that's enough. That's enough. So, you have to keep these animals apart for one minute, completely silently. Are you going to pass my silence test? Yes! Well, let's find out. Shh. For the next minute, our two teams have to hold the animals apart in silence, of course. Your silence test commences in five, four, three, two, one. Play! <laughs> Interestingly, both teams going for the same technique by holding the bear's legs and, quite literally, the bee's knees. And there goes the bear. There's a real buzz about the place now. There's squawks, coughs and all sorts now. And it looks like Miss Gobstop's hearing them. 30 seconds. Halfway through the test. They're going to lose the chance of a prize if they don't stop their noise now. The bee and the bear, desperate to get at one another, still very cross after last year's honey incident. And Miss Gobstop not looking happy either. Ten seconds. The bear truth is there's definitely laughter there. There's only five seconds left. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. Oh! Your silence test is over! Yeah! It's over! Here comes the result. Will it mean prize number two? No, no, no. no. So your silence test is over. How do you think you did? Do you think you passed? Yeah! You think I heard a few giggles? Uh, not just now, boys. Calm down, calm down. Well, it's not up to me. It's not up to you. It's up to the wonderful Miss Gobstop to decide whether you passed or failed. So let's find out. Miss Gobstop! Attention! Attention! This is Miss Gobstop. I heard no bees or bears but I did hear the sound of giggly gigglers. <laughs> Class! Is it going to be another pass and another banked prize? Failed! Yes! 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 What a shame for you all. Never mind, my bear and my bee defeated you. And I've had enough. Again. I've had enough. Get out of my class. Out you pop. Aww. Off you go. Aww. Oh, oh, man, it's a we've... bummer. We're going to stop each other from giggling. Yeah. Hopefully we pass the next class. TGD! Teachers going down! Yeah! yeah! Meanwhile, in the school's hamster cage... The hamster on the wheel goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The hamster on the wheel goes round and round. Please, please stop! Shh! 
Yeah, it was making me dizzy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Lord of the Dad Dance, Mr. Les Prance, the school's performing arts teacher. But can he instruct our students in the silent arts? With only one prize in the bank so far, how are our pupils going to get on in his class? Come in, come in. Sit down, sit down, sit down, quick. OK. Shh. Mind your head. Dad, what are you doing? Well, yesterday. Thank you. I am Mr. Prance, your performance arts teacher. Yes? Is it Prance or Prance? It's Prance. Prance. Yes. It's spelled P P P R A N C E. Prance. Yes. Now, Japs and Chapet, it is now time for my silent test. As a performer, there are times that you must remain still and also silent. This is a staring competition, with my assistant issuing a cold water punishment for blinking. As ever, Miss Gobstock will be listening for any noises as we find the master of face control. Remember, blink and you'll get it. My silence test has begun. In three, two, one, stare. Shh. It's the classic silent stare off with cold water down the old back for the loser. Rico and Kavita are first up. And Kavita's blinked first. It's shower time. Oh my goodness, that'll burst Miss Gobstop's eardrums. Rico won round one, which means he's through to the final. But they're gonna have to show better silent skills if they want to bank a prize. Shh. Round two. In three, two, one, stare. It's Tariq and Hamza now. This is getting tense. Who's gonna blink first? I'm gonna lose. What's Hamza doing? He started talking. Oh, Miss Gobstop won't like that. Surely this blink battle has to end eventually. These boys are amazing. <laughs> you blinked. <laughs> Listen to that. That's got to be off the gobstop scale. That's tipped her over the edge. Shh. It's the winner of the two opening rounds, Hamza and Rico, head to head. And now, the grand final. In three, two, one, stare. You blinked. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they've totally forgotten about staying silent. Miss Gobstop has surely heard that. But look at that. Willpower from Rico. That's Oscar-winning face control. Your silence test is over. Yeah! Hamza is a master of face control. So, is it a fail or another win? At the end of the great stare-off, how do you think you did? Is it okay? Is it okay? Really? Really? Um, uh, I think in the instructions, I did point out that you had to remain silent. I heard screaming which shook the very foundations of this school. However, it's not for me or Nurse to decide how you've done. Miss Gobstop has been listening, and she will let you know the result. Leave that alone. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Kavita, Kavita. Your scream chilled me to the bone. <coughs> Tarek, you squealed like a little piggy. <coughs> Humza, speaking, shouting is not silence. <coughs> Rico, I admire your strength. Try to control your teammates. I have never heard so much noise during a class. My Gobstop 3000 was smoking. Class? What's it to be? A pass and another prize banked or a fail? Failed! Yes! Oh! <laughs> I tell you, you cannot beat the Prancinator. Will the new pupils please report to my office immediately? 
Yes, oh. out you go. Oh. Yes, bye bye, losers. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Catch me, catch me, catch me. <laughs> the pupils are off to get their report before the final exam. Enter. Quickly. Uh, so, you've been sent here because you're all far too noisy. Shall we take a look at your report? Rico, you tried to control your giggles, but it was hard for you. But you did control yourself in the last class. Commendable. Kavita, you started as a good silent pupil. Slowly your silence turned to giggling and then screaming. <coughs> Such a shame. Was it my fault? Tarek, you too started quite quietly, but the giggles got the better of you, resulting in squeals of laughter. <coughs> Hamza. Yes. Sadly, you don't seem to have any control of yourself. <coughs> if you'd like to take home some prizes, then I would suggest that you learn to stay silent. You have one exam left in the science lab with the professor. If you manage to stay silent, you will take home the one prize you have banked, plus the ultimate reward of the golden gobstop. But if you make three noises or more that set off the gobstop 3000, you will go home empty-handed and will be expelled. So, take your little feet silently to the science lab and get out of my office. I've got quite big feet. Yeah, not as big as mine, darling, yeah. so yeah. get Six. out. So Goodbye. Scorch. It's time for the professor. His mad experiments are all that's standing between our gobby Glaswegians and their prizes. Well, my little pandemonium pigeons, welcome to the final examination here in the laboratory. I am the professor, and today with the help of my assistant, Herr Helmut, science pirate! <gasps> Look, it's stomach you fool! Not in front of the victim. Uh, in front of the children. What will happen today for your final examination is we will set you against the power of the silent laboratory and three of my greatest inventions. However, if you make any of the bad, bad noises, you will fail. Ha! It's a failure kick! Nom, nom, nom! In the unlikely event you manage to keep it so quiet, ha! You will graduate and you will win the elusive golden gobstopper. Do you think you can do it? Yeah! Well, I don't know about that. From what I hear, you are noiser than hip hop hippos having a pool fight in a discotheque. That doesn't make any sense. You don't make any sense. Your mother doesn't make any sense. Quiet! The professor will do all he can to stop them winning the golden gobstopper. Oh, <laughs> do your worst, professor. We will begin the final examination in drei, zwei, eins! It begins! Quiet! Right, who's first? I think the first one will be you. First up is Kavita. This is my invisibility cloak. Look. Right there. Oh dear, Rico started chatting. You have no idea where I am. You can't see. Oh look, oh look at this. It is floating all on its own. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, oh, where's it gonna go? It's a very special pie. It's an animal pie filled with panda doo doo and pigeon juice and sick. Would you like a taste? No? What about that? Oh, one of the professor's classic moves. Sneaky. It's all right. I got a spare. Oh, he's done the double. This is breaking all the rules. Right, what do we have next? For you. Next, it's Tariq. One of my greatest inventions. It is the color flute. Whenever I play something from it, you get to see the colors. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh no, there's something stuck in the end. Tariq is keeping it nicely shut, but Rico is struggling with the chuckles. Oh, I'm sorry, you forgot to hear it. I forgot to give you your headphones. There they are. Well, you could say there's no pies on Tariq. Right. 
Who do we have next? I think we have... Oh, next. Now it's Hamza's turn. One of my greatest inventions. The Beauty Claw. It helps you do your makeup from miles away. If we just turn it on. The Claw, it is going crazy, Helmut. Help us! No, it is fine. Here we go. It's the makeup. Humza may be blue in the face, but he's keeping it quiet. It looks like a smurf. I know. <laughs> Quick, deactivate! And finally, what do we have for you? Last up, uh-oh, it's Rico. One of my greatest inventions, the happiness ray. It can make you happy from miles away. Are you ready? We commence in drei, zwei, eins! Oh! I'm so sorry, I had it the wrong way up. It was a sadness ray. <laughs> that was a frown. We make you happy this time. Are you ready? Go! Why would that make you happy? You're such a rude boy. Don't worry, my special machine here, the glee machine, can clean you up. Uh, let us go now. It's fine. A chortle from Rico there, but can the team last the final 20 seconds gunge onslaught without alerting Miss Gobstop? Remember, three strikes means they're expelled and go home empty-handed. <laughs> ah, stupid machine! Stop! That's, that's it! The time is up! Your final examination is over! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Fair, my little buzzing bees. How do you think you did in your final examination? Yes! I think you failed. I quite you! Right, but it is not up to me and it is not up to Helmut. It is up to the beautiful Fraulein Gobstopper to see if you will graduate the School of Silence or if you'll be expelled. I think he's in a half. Let us find out. Fraulein Gobstopper! The team have failed two classes and passed one. So with a prize and the golden Gobstopper at stake, will they pass the final exam and graduate? How did mine and guinea pigs do? Well, I had a giggle. I had grunting. But did you make three or more? How do you think you did, Rico? Good. Good. Humza. Yeah, we did really good. The Gobstop 3000 has spoken. You will graduate! Yeah! Yes, it's a fantastic victory for the group from Glasgow. So how did they do it? Well, there was some chat from Rico. Can't see me. He's standing right there. There's something stuck in the end. Before the professor dished out an array of ghastly treats to the class, including headphone pie and the beauty claw. He looks like a smurf. Then Rico slipped again with a small chuckle, but with only two strikes on the Gobstop 3000, they've won their prizes and also the Golden Gobstopper. It gives me some kind of pleasure to award you the Golden Gobstopper, Yay! collect your prizes and get out! Hello there, you're with Ricky with the very latest from Newsround. First up, you probably felt a bit hotter than usual during break time today. Well, that's because the UK is enjoying an early taste of summer. This weekend, thousands of people flocked to the beach at places like Brighton and Bournemouth. The smell of barbecues drifted across the country as temperatures reached 10 degrees above the average for this time of year. Weather forecasters say the sun is going to stick around for most of the week. Well, on the website, we've been asking for your views on the warm weather. And Abby from Fife writes, My family and I have been dressing in shorts and T-shirts and having barbecues. Natasha from Swindon says, I'm having ice cream and playing with my friends. If my friends can't make it, then I play on the trampoline with my dad. 
Um, Anthony from Belfast says, I've been hanging around with my friends and drinking loads of cold juice. Good, good. And Archie from London has joined lots of others at the beach. He says, I went to Southend yesterday. It was great. I was in Yorkshire. It was even better. Well, uh, the sun's shining, so time for a bit of cricket. And in the opening day of the two test series, Sri Lanka have kept England on their toes. England started well, taking eight quick wickets. But an amazing unbeaten 168 from Mahila Jiwadana means Sri Lanka are now on 289 for eight. Now, a Japanese fishing boat uh, swept away in last year's devastating tsunami has been spotted off the west coast of Canada. It's drifted without a crew for almost 4,500 miles across the sea and was found by coast guards. They're watching it to make sure it doesn't get in the way of other ships in the area. Millions of tonnes of debris expected to reach land eventually, but this is by far the largest bit found so far. Right, that's it for now. I'll be back just after five over on BBC One with the very latest with myself and Hayley. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. If you're an uber CBBC fan and crave behind-the-scenes footage, then we've got exactly what you're looking for. Just press red on your remote, scroll down and click on CBBC Extra, where you can watch exclusive behind-the-scenes footage of the new Horrible Histories trail and an exclusive School of Silence clip. It's all going on on CBBC Extra. And why not try the new Deadly 60 quiz, featuring Steve Backshall and his deadly friends. Join in the fun and press red. You don't want to miss out. This time on Deadly 60, we're dealing with the grandest, most impressive, most epic animals on Earth. They are absolutely extraordinary. Whoa! This is absolutely unbelievable. Yes! No way! <laughs> awesome! Wow! No! Wow! I've got to stop saying wow. Brand new Deadly 60, weekdays at 7.45 on the CBBC channel. Guys, hi, welcome back to CBBC Office. Today I'm joined by one man. The only thing deadly about him is his looks. It's Steve Barshall, everyone. Wow. Thank you very much. Hi, Steve. Hello there. You got right, mate? Uh, we've got some questions here from the, from the peoples. We've got one here from Luke. Luke's actually got two brothers. Stop and listen. Doesn't work. Doesn't deserve uh, it. Luke says, if you could, doesn't matter. If you could travel back in time for half an hour, if you could meet any...